Hello students, welcome to the online tutorial session. In the previous lecture session, we have learned that how to perform the um, octal addition and octal subtraction. Okay, so in this today's video lecture session, we will learn that how uh, hexadecimal uh, addition and the subtraction is take place. Okay, so first we will learn about that how the hexadecimal addition take place. Okay. I hope you remember that for a octal number system for the additional addition we have a, a prepare a, a chart that is column okay that is a table we have prepared so that table will be there but the column name will be uh, slightly changed okay so this will be um, a decimal for the same this d for decimal and this for second form for the octal number for in case of octal number system but in case of hexadecimal number system that will be hexa and then it is a uh, quotient that is carry and remainder that is sum okay so this table is like that we have to for addition for octal addition for hexadecimal addition we have to build this table okay there is a option as we uh, you can opt for it but is that you it is it is not necessary to uh, draw this table but for initially uh, try to practice by building up the table when you uh, become adaptive when the situation you are adaptive to this addition then you can uh, you can do or you can uh, there is an option that you cannot write down this one directly you can do the addition it is up to you but at initial days you try to practice in this way okay so now uh, i am starting with this uh, very initial uh, small sum very initial sum that is very easy also okay so it is written Okay, I'm using the red ink that will be uh, easier for you to understand. That is 69 base 16 need to be added with 34 base 16. Okay, so 69 I'm writing over here and 4 and 3. Okay, let's start addition. So 9 plus 4. I hope the 9 plus 4 the sum is 13. So in case of hexadecimal number system, you remember that we cannot write 13, okay? Because uh, 10 onwards, we have an alphabetical order. That is 10 means A, 11 means B, 12 means C, and 13 means D. So here this sum comes 30. So we will write down here D, okay? And 6 plus 3, it is 9. This is already also comes under this uh, hexadecimal number system. So it is 9. So 9D base 16, okay? So answer is 19D base 16, okay? Uh, it's a very easy one. I hope it is clear to you. Now, I am moving to the next sum, okay? That is uh, 572B. We have to add, that is 572B base 16. We have to add it with 4, 9, 6, 8, 16 okay so let's start with that we are placing the value that is 5 7 2 b and this is 8 6 9 4 okay let's add so b plus 8 right b plus 8 b means what you remember b means what 11 11 plus 8 it is under decimal part okay d part Okay, so 11 plus 8, it is means 19. So, what is comes under hexa part? So, 19 divided by 16. If 19 divided by 16, quotient part, we will write down 1. It is in, uh, it is in Q part and it is in uh, sum part, that is remainder part, we will write down 3. Okay, so this part I am, so that's why this part I am erasing only. So, some part I have to write down 3. In the quotient part, it is 1. Right? So, again 2 plus 1, it is 3. 3 plus 6, it is 9. Very good. 9 it comes under. The then, start with addition 7 plus 9. If you add 7 plus 9, answer is what? 16. So, 16, if you try to divide it by 16, so what will happen? In the D part, it is 7 plus 9, that is 16. 
so in the hexadecimal part 16 divided by 16 so quotient is uh, quotient is 1 sorry quotient is quotient but i will not try to quotient is 1 this is here and some part uh, and the remainder part is 0 so quotient i am writing over here there is carry part 0 So five plus one it is six. Six plus four uh, it is ten. Ten you cannot write down. Ten directly I am writing as a. So the answer is a zero nine three. So it's the addition. Okay. Next addition very quickly we are clearing the page and very quickly we are writing down that is nine a five sixteen. Plus nine four c sixteen. Okay, so uh, I'm doing this. It is nine a five, and it is nine four c. So c means what you remember always. The c means what? Twelve. So twelve plus five, it is seventeen. So seventeen. If you divide it by sixteen, the sum is uh, for the quotient is one, and sum is also. One, you clear? So one I'm writing over here and one I'm putting over here. Okay, a means what? Ten. So ten plus one, it is eleven. Eleven plus four, it is fifteen. Fifteen so all means e, e and f. Sorry, fifteen means f. So f directly I'm writing over here. Nine plus nine, it is eighteen. So eighteen in decimal, eighteen divided by sixteen. Eighteen divided by sixteen, quotient is one and remainder is two. So two I am writing over here and carry one is there. If there is no other digit is left to add, then we will put it forward to the carry. So this is the addition part. Okay. Now we are uh, quickly moving to the next part that is the subtraction part, hexadecimal subtraction part. Okay. So quickly uh, the very easy one we are taking very easy sum that is it is written. Nine C eight D base sixteen minus two five A B. Okay, I'm arranging nine five eight D B A. It is five. Okay, it is nine C. I'm writing. Okay, let's say C two five two. So D means you remember D means thirteen. Okay, so you have done B means eleven. Thirteen minus eleven, it is easily done. It is two. Very good. It is eight. Is there eight? And A means what? Ten. A means what? It is ten. So eight minus ten cannot possible. From here, I am taking borrow. That is sixteen. So it becomes B. So sixteen plus eight, it becomes twenty-four. Twenty-four minus A means ten. So it becomes fourteen. Fourteen means again, it is. Fourteen means if you are find out, fourteen means what? E. It's eighteen minus ten. If you add, it is sixteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Okay. So you write down this one. Okay. And uh, next, what will happen? So it has subtracted B. B means what? B means eleven. Okay, eleven uh, is there. So if you subtract eleven minus five, so answer becomes six. Nine minus two, seven. Clear. Now we will move forward to the next sum. Next, I am taking the bigger one that is written E zero. Two A eight base sixteen minus A two eight seven D. Okay, I am arranging. Then you are able to understand. It is E zero two A eight, and it is A two eight seven D. So it is again H minus D. Not possible to have taken borrow from here. So this become nine. So sixteen minus eight. It is twenty four. Twenty four minus it is uh, D means thirteen. Okay. So if you uh, subtract this one, so it's become what? 
11. So 11 it is. 11 means B. So directly I am writing B. So 9 minus 7 that is possible it is 2. Again it is 2 is there and 8. It is not possible. I have to take borrow from here. But here 0 is present. So it becomes F. So it becomes 16. From 16 I am subtracting it becomes 5. And here I am giving 16. So it is 16 plus 2. Right, 16 plus 2 means 18. 18 minus 8, which means 10. 10 minus means 8. Okay. So, this uh, right now in case of 0, we have 15. So, 15 minus 2, it becomes 13. 13 means D. And F me and E, e is the previously. So, if sorry, I have written F over here, this will be D. And the uh, subtracting. So D D means 13. 13 minus A means 10. 10 means 3. So this is the subtraction. Okay. Another small sum is there. Very quickly I am doing the last sum. I hope it is clear. Directly I am positioning it. C A 0 7 and it is 9 8 2 2. Okay. So 7 minus 9 is not possible. We have to take borrow from here. But here to 0. So from here it becomes 9 and it becomes 16. So 16 in form you have to subtract. It becomes 15. And here I have to add 16. So 16 plus uh, 7 it is 23. So, 23 minus 9, it becomes E. Okay. Now, 15 minus, it is 8. It is means 7. Now, 9 minus 2 becomes 7. And C means what? C means 12. 12 minus 2 means 10. 10 means E. So, in this way, we can perform the binary subtraction. So, I hope that binary subtraction, sorry, binary subtraction, hexadecimal subtraction and hexadecimal addition rule is clear to you. Thank you, student. I'm ending my lecture over here.